All right, y'all. So, uh, this is a real quick breakdown. This video is not going to be too long. Just hollering at y'all. Uh, you know, just going over the retention journey. Um, today was pretty cool. It was busy. I had a lot to do today. Um, I thought I had actually had class tonight, but I think it was just, we just had like a little Zoom meeting or whatnot. So, I got that taken care of. So, I was like, you know what? Let me just make this video. You feel me? So, but yeah. A lot of changes, bro. I'm um, saying uh, I'm meeting new people. Uh, I'm going through different doors. Um, I traveled, even like today, I traveled deep into uh, downtown Atlanta, which I'm not gonna lie, it's beautiful out, out, out in Atlanta. Like downtown, the nice parts with the big houses and stuff like that, it's very beautiful. So I honestly, bro, it felt like I was at home. Not saying that I'm not at home at the crib, but I'm just saying like it felt like I was at home, meaning like there was a certain vibration that my frequency was resonating with. And I feel as though as I continue my journey and, and, as, I, and as I get better with life and as I just, you know, just increase my stock and things of that nature, I know one day I'm going to be like living in that type of vibration, you know, nice place big house i don't know ex specifically what the crib gonna look like per se but it just felt too at home you know what i mean and it almost felt like it was kind of like a somewhat of like a past life experience because i don't know if you guys know um whether you whether or not you believe in reincarnation your soul has been well I don't technically I don't know where your soul has been, but universally the soul it has probably been in incarnated like as a human being or as an animal or as like you know a butterfly who knows you know what I'm saying but with that being said, for me at least I don't know I can't speak for you because I don't know what you believe in I don't know what, know, know what type of ideology you got going on but for me, it feels as though whenever I go to certain places, when I go there for the first time, it feels as though like I've been there before or I had this before. Or like when I used to do like a lot of catering and I did like a lot of banquet setup and stuff like that, we will always be having these setups in like these big fancy hotels. And like, I'll just be around like, you know, all these people, all these Jewish people and you know, just everybody in between type of shit. And I didn't feel at home with the Jewish people. And there's no offense to, to the Jews. You, you feel me? I ain't got nothing against y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing against y'all. But the lifestyle, you know what I mean? Uh, just the finer things, you feel me? Not necessarily like material per se, but in certain like communities, the air quality is like a little, little bit better than, you know, other places outside of like those quote unquote expensive uh cities which by the way in the future they they will have smart cities and shit they trying to get like atlantis again you feel me uh slowly but surely and don't be surprised in like 10 years another 10 to 20 years we're gonna see a significant jump in technology <laughs> and it's just gonna be crazy bro i've had plenty of dreams and had plenty of visions and stuff i done had experiences where i had i was in a car and i, I remember this vis vividly but i was in a car with a couple people i was younger than my age though like i f i felt younger in my dream and all i can remember was uh, a, a a firearm that was in the car uh my homeboy <laughs> he basically gave me this firearm type, type shit in this lucid dream and the shit looked fu futuristic it was kind of like a smart firearm if, if for lack of a better term so just imagine <laughs> just imagine like don't be surprised in the future if they have everything becomes quote unquote smart you feel me see and that's the thing about the matrix bro the Matrix is not really try trying to just evolve, but the Matrix is actually trying to keep up with us, us, the human beings. When it comes to like, because to be totally honest, the more we get, uh, you know, stimulated and the more we are involved in, you know, adding our part in the Matrix, you know what I'm saying? The more 
likely, you know what I'm saying, like people will start to like, quote unquote, get bored and then lose interest in like whatever they're paying attention to. So they have to keep up with us. Technology itself has to keep up with us because we would get bored and we'll try just like with things when they go start to trend and stuff. We put our energy towards that and then after a while, okay, we don't give a fuck. Because that's how humans are, like human nature in, in, in general. But like, so with all that being said, I mean, I've had certain visions of certain things that will happen. And in the meantime, going back to like my experience today, um, it felt it felt good, you know what I'm saying, to be around people that also seem to have very high frequencies. Uh, it seems as though every time I encounter a young lady in those types of environments, they talk to me as if like, you know, I live like down the street or on the block. And I'm talking about like, these are big ass houses and condos and even the apartments down there in Atlanta. It was really, really nice type shit. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. And seeing the landscaping, seeing people run outside with their dogs. I seen this one white lady, she was she was jogging, she was power walking. And as I was making the left, because you know I was driving the truck at the time, um as I, I was as I was making the left, I we made eye contact. And I told you, if you're on retention, you have that magnetism, bro. Like people gonna like notice you. Even if you're in your vehicle and they're outside the vehicle type shit, like they'll notice you, dog. I'm I'm thinking my shit's tinted. I'm like, nah, these motherfuckers is looking dead into your fucking soul, bro. So I'm making a left and then we lock eyes and then she kind of goes goes to smiling and then she gives me the head nod, like, like you feel me? I'm like, oh, okay, I guess you caught me looking. She it wasn't like she was bad or anything like that, but I don't know, I guess real recognize real or frequency recognizes frequency. So, you know, took a trip down there and then I also had to uh, run back down south and then uh, met some some more people. Uh, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like this shit, the, the rest of the year is going to be lit as fuck, bro. But I would say this, even though this uh, the rest of the year is going to be lit, I think all of us have to be aware of, again, where we put our energy, where we put our time how we spend our money because if I'm not mistaken and y'all can let me know in the comment section I believe we are about to go through like a, a depression you feel me like as far as financially goes like there's gonna be a little crash it's gonna be a shortage of food uh, shortage of jobs you feel me it's gonna be I guess similar to like 2008 um, when the market kind of like crashed or whatnot but Outside of that, though, you can survive and get past that. I feel like us as a people, we have to focus on becoming self-sufficient. Now, earlier, uh, when I dropped the video today, which actually did pretty good, I was surprised it did pretty good. Usually, sometimes when I be thinking like, okay, this video is going to be a banger, like, and nobody pays attention to it. And then whenever I just like do a video, not thinking of whether or not it's going to be a banger, like that's when it's pretty decent, you know what I'm saying, numbers wise. But earlier in the video, I was talking about how like, um, you know, the Matrix will sit there and set up these things and they'll, you know, people in the Matrix, they'll smile at you, laugh at you, or will laugh with you and at you type shit, low key. And they will try to rob you clean of your energy, you know, completely drain you, you know what I'm saying? Um, They'll try to make it seem as though, okay, everything's going to be all right. Like, even with the news that I just said, like, we're about to go through a depression or whatever. Like, that's not really talked about that much. It's it's around, like, I guess if you're on TikTok and shit like that, you know, they be covering, like, certain stuff that's going on in the government. Like, there's this one bill, if I'm not mistaken. Basically, if uh, if it gets passed this year, because, you know, this year is an election year. If it gets passed... We could be potentially headed toward, uh, uh, what's the word? Is, is it not, uh, damn, I, I had to, which got, basically it's when you, um, damn, what's the word, bro? I totally, totally just got thrown off just now. I got a text message and shit from a certain individual. 
I didn't expect for, for her to hit me up at this point in time while I'm making the video, which is crazy. But yeah, we're headed towards, is that anarchy? Anarchy, dictator, I'm tripping anarchy. Well, damn, damn, it's damn they're gonna be anarchy. But yeah, a dictatorship, basically when, you know, the country is ran by like one person and stuff. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in the Matrix, but like what they try to do is like lull people to sleep by, you know, promoting the rap beef and the NBA finals and, and, and you know, the the NHL playoffs and all, all of these things that's going on, you know what I'm saying? They continuously keep people asleep, bro. And before you know it, like when the sports is done and the rap beef is done and everything is done and the smoke clears, all of a sudden we are in a pandemic and now, you know, you got to fend for yourself type shit. So you got to, you, you have to always like prepare yourself, you know, uh, mentally, financially, all of that, because you never know when shit can like hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? Whole time we could be chilling, vibing, thinking shit sweet living our best life and then something happens in the economy where you know shortage shortage of jobs or people got to sell their houses gentrification all of the stuff that's happening in the matrix where like it affects us it affects you me everybody you feel me celebrities all of that so with that being said number one i feel like there's no time to sit around and just be idle and then try to put your energy into shit that's like that don't mean shit like especially when it's just superficial surface level and um when you put your energy towards things like that bro like you're robbing yourself of you know the security in the future you know what i'm saying um if you know you get a you, if you know you get a check and you know the first is coming up in like four or five days where however days that is you're not going to take your check and go out and buy Jordans and do this and do that. Like, you know, you got to pay, you know what I'm saying? Your rent and you got to pay this. You got to pay that. You got to set yourself up to have a successful future. You feel me? So it's the same thing with your energy. It's the same thing with your attention. You feel me? And then especially when you are cultivating your natural sexual energy, when you're doing that, bro, and you're not even paying that, you have to give that shit a break. Like you have to give it a break, bro. Like it's, you still will be healthy. You're going to be healthy regardless, bro, because you are reabsorbing the energy that you, you know what I'm saying, that you created, started from your pineal gland. And because that's happening, you are you are actually naturally becoming a better person, a better guy, you feel me? Your, your brain is operating at a high level. And now you are able to seek knowledge that's considered to be high level and something that you probably didn't understand before, now you'll start to understand. You know, when you continuously work on yourself and do this shit, bro, you won't feel like you have to depend on the narrative to say, let me get better so I can get a get a female. It's not necessarily about that. Yeah, I know you probably want to procreate and shit. I know you want to have fun, get in some sweet, watery guts. I get it. But your true purpose, like outside of the, you know, the job, the girl, the this, the that. Your true purpose is to be the best version of yourself as much as possible, bro. You feel me? If you don't have any other purpose, like, think about it. The the cells within your body, that's what it does. Your cells, like, when you was a baby, bro, ever since you was a baby, ever since you was a fetus, back to even when you was a damn sperm cell, down to its very nature, it always works to get itself better. You know what I'm saying? The sperm cell eventually learned how to, you know, once it came through with the egg, came together with the egg, it learned how to start to multiply itself. You feel me? And then turn into what we see today. So even out to your core, your cells are telling you like, yo, we have to, main, of course, maintain, you know, harmony throughout the body, but we have to get better. We just have to get better. It's just simple as that. I don't care if you are perfect. There's a lot of people who... There's a lot of people who view other people as perfect. Perfect with air quotes. And those same people who are viewed as perfect are constantly finding new ways or trying new ways to like reinvent themselves. 
you know what I'm saying? Finding new ways to challenge themselves, you know what I'm saying? So you become an automatic working machine by yourself once you, you know, have this mentality. And now you can say, okay, cool. I can operate in the matrix as a one man, you know, wrecking crew, if, you know, for lack of a better term. But at the end of the day, you don't tech technically need to depend on anybody else within the matrix type shit. What's going to happen is people are just going to want your energy. So it's not a matter of like you depending on people. It's the fact that people are going to be attracted to you. So now they get to experience you. Which, by the way, make sure you're not letting any type of frequency or energy experience you. You're also robbing yourself of, you know, getting to your manifestations faster, bro. If you choose to entertain somebody that you know you have no business talking to, entertaining, then, you know, again, you you might feel okay at that moment in time, but at the back end of that, you're going to have to play catch up, number one. And number two, you're going to probably realize, damn, dog, I probably should have been, been doing this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Why did I wait until now to realize, like, damn, I needed to really get my shit together? You feel me? So, you know, without saying too much, though, like, that's what I do, bro. Like, you know, throughout my day, you know, I just try to, you know, stay aware of, you know what I'm saying, like, what I can do new and what I can like learn new, I should say, um, because knowledge is infinite, bro. Bruh. Like, I know for a fact I'm not even scratching the surface when it comes to um, the type of knowledge that I'm gonna share with y'all type shit. Because I, again, I'm like a encyclopedia slash a magazine slash I don't know. I just like all kinds of information and stuff like that, and I feel as though. The more we bring our, the more awareness we bring to like, you know what I'm saying? Just understanding not only ourselves, but also the matrix. We can move in a certain way where we will, I wouldn't say never fail because I ain't gonna hold you. Like in order to be great, you're gonna have to fail a couple of times. But like, we will limit the pain, the strife. You know, we will limit like being in those lower, lower vibrational emotions once we are like, you know what I'm saying, just in tune with ourselves. So even when we go through something that's quote unquote catastrophic, whether it's the stock market going down or whether it's something happened in the family, at least our vibration from within is balanced, is controlled, it's harmonious. And you know, if you have to feel an emotion where you're feeling sad, you feel sad or whatnot, depending on like, you know, if you lost a loved one or something like that, you know, God forbid, you know, it, it's part of life, though. You know, it's part of the journey, unfortunately. But I feel as I feel as though as, as long as you are in tune with yourself constantly, every single day, checking in with yourself, you know, having a conversation with yourself, bro. You know, you don't even really need to talk to people like that, bro. You don't really need nobody, to be totally honest. I think the main reason to connect and meet people, uh, I feel I feel as though I think that that reason. And the purpose changes as you start to evolve. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't have a need to want to be around people. What's going to happen is when you need to be around people, you will be around people. You feel me? And this is just to any of the uh, introverts or people who are on this journey, celibate, haven't been outside, haven't been, you know, doing anything. Trust me, I know how it can get. I know how it can get. But like, one thing that God is always going to do is give you a fore foreshadowing of, you know, what is to come. There was a comment in the video that I uh, posted earlier. I actually pinned that comment. I'm paraphrasing. Forgive me for, like, forgetting exactly what you said. But the comment was saying uh, he would, during his lucid dreams, there would, there, would, there would be certain females within his lucid dreams that are, like, pretty much bad, like, that's really on that shit that's trying to get his uh, natural sexual energy and then also somebody commented saying like how can we protect ourselves during the nighttime and then when we sleep see the thing about that is that what first of all the first part i'm, I'm gonna answer, answer the first question first 
with the fact that if you have lucid dreams and you constantly have different women appearing in your lucid dreams, again, that is a foreshadowing of what is to come. Trust me, I know because this shit happened before to me where I've been, I'd have lucid dreams. Mind you, I haven't talked to, I wouldn't talk to a female for about three, four months. But as soon as I started getting them lucid dreams, sober mind and all of that, I want to say two to three weeks later, that's when uh, they would start appearing. You feel me? So to anybody that's probably wondering like, well, damn, like, am I going to get the female attraction? Or am I telling you, don't worry about that shit, bro. You'll know about it when you need to know about it. You feel me? And to the second comment, he basically said like, how do we protect ourselves throughout the nighttime? Or like, you know, if we're sleeping because you know, there's certain energies and certain spirits that will try to rob us of our energy. We have to make sure, number one, we are in the natural uh, vibration of the universe because if we're not, it's gonna be a lot more easier for certain lower vibrational entities to get to us. So what do I mean by stay in the, stay in the same vibration as the um, universe? Basically, not eating past six uh, six p.m. Uh, you want to make sure like all of your all of your food is digested and everything. Uh, at the most, you probably have some fruits. Um, you know, drink some water, things of that nature if you're gonna uh, eat at nighttime. But you will be in a better vibration and you'll be more at peace, and your brain won't be as like active and trying to find stimulation as you're about to go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Basically, whenever I get attacked, if I if I deal with the incubus or a succubus or something like that, bro, it's always because I've eaten late or I've eaten some bullshit, you feel me? Something that's not fruit or vegetables. You know, it could be something that you get from a fast food restaurant. I feel like anything that you get from a fast food, fast food restaurant, I don't care how healthy it is, you think it is, Eating, eating that late night, that's that's uh, encouraging you, your body itself, to be in a lower uh, lower nature. You know what I'm saying? It's encouraging. Not only is it encouraging you to be that way, but it's also uh, you are also becoming more comfortable, more you know, a little bit vulnerable. More now, you're looking for like more sensations because when you talk about eating food, it's almost like you have a sex low key. You know what I'm saying? The same endorphins that fire off in your brain when you're having sex is the same endorphins that fire off when you're eating a, a, a chicken sandwich or some shit like that. You feel me? So the best thing you could do is just control the vi your vibration. This is like four or five hours prior to you going to sleep. That way, if you do get any attacks, you will be aware of it and you'll probably like wake up type shit like that. Because they still going to try to attack you, bro. Like eating fruits and vegetables and shit like that 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 increases your libido and that also um increases your sex drive but the best way to balance that out is just not think about your sex drive see if you constantly keep setting yourself up going going out and chilling with this female or coming home and watching certain type of shows now you're always going to be thinking about sex you're always going to be thinking about that law of vibrational action and when it's already in your mind, now you got you you got seeds planted in your mind. Now you got visuals happening. You know what I'm saying? And then again, that's how when you're in that type of vibration, you're kind of opening the door for like certain spirits and vibrations and different entities to use that energy and try to rob you of it and get you to, you know what I'm saying? Start over. So yeah, it's really... This is what I like about being on a high streak is that like you'll get to a point where you're not you don't you don't put yourself in situations to be tempted. You know what I'm saying? You don't put yourself in situations to be like, you know, oh man, I pro I feel like doing this. I want to fit in. I want to chill here. I want to do this. Like the more you are aware of your emotions and how like you know just move within the matrix, bro, you'll be fine, bro. You know what I'm saying? You will be fine. But uh, without saying too much, man, MGT, what it do? It's your boy Moody Star. And I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber. 
like the video and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk carrying this beautiful, fucked up, sideways ass matrix. Now, first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Intro for the outro. Y'all, I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video. I uh, appreciate y'all coming through. This is the nightcap. If you made it to the end of this video, you're the GOAT. Shout out to you. Appreciate you. I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video. Peace.